Hey kindergartners, Mr. Bell here. All right, well it's that time of the year where we start doing some holiday projects, so let's go ahead and get started. This project is called Kids Mittens. That's right, mittens for you all. So here's some different examples. Uh, notice the pattern in here. All right, straight purple line, blue dashed line, green zigzag line, A, B, C, A, B, C. That's right, A, B, C pattern, okay? In the background, you can make something up like that. Any kind. Let's, here's another one here. All right, different kinds of patterns, different colors. Make sure your mittens match. These are all red and blue. These are green, purple, and blue. They match. This project is about matching. Even this little purple zigzag with the pink in there, even that matches on both mittens, okay? The background doesn't have to match, but the mittens have to match. And here's another one. It all matches. Orange, orange, yellow, yellow, green triangles, green triangles, pink, pink, orange with purple lines, orange with purple lines, okay? All right, let me show you how you do one of these. These are really fun. Get yourself a big sheet of paper. Big enough to put both your hands on. Now, my hands almost take up this entire sheet. This is a 9 by 12 inch sheet of paper. You can use a regular sheet of paper. Also, um, if you're going to be doing any paint on yours, make, you might want to use tag board, something a little thicker than computer paper. But if you don't have any markers, uh, any uh, paints, or don't want to use paints, you can use a regular sheet of copy paper and, and use marker and crayon on the project. So here we go. Put both of your hands down like this. And then get your pencil and trace around, all the way around your fingers. Down into where your thumb is. Trace around your thumb and down to the bottom of the paper. Make sure you're not tracing your fingers individually like this. We want to go around all of them at the same time so it looks like a mitten. All right, there's one. Then place your other hand down. And... Trace this side. You can have someone at home help you also if you need to. And there we go. There's my two mittens. It's okay that they go off the bottom or the side of the paper. That's fine. And once you have both of your hands traced and it looks like you have two sets of mittens, it is time to start designing your pattern inside. Use the pencil to do all this first. And I'm going to do an ABC pattern with a straight line, a dashed line, and a zigzag line. Then I go back to A again, straight line, zigzag line, <laughs> I'm sorry, dashed line, and then a zigzag line. I got ahead of myself there. So that means on this mitten, I need to make it match this one. So I'm going to do the same exact pattern. Straight line. Dashed line. Zigzag line. Straight line. Dashed line. Zigzag line. There we go. Both of them match each other. They have the same exact pattern inside. What you want to do next is get a crayon or a marker and trace the outside of your mittens. Try your hardest to stay on the pencil line. I'm going all the way around. And around here. Let me trace in mine with a black marker. You can use whatever color you want to trace yours. I could have traced them both purple or red. You have to make that decision. There we go. They're still matching. Now I'm going to trace my straight lines brown. Straight. 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 All right. 
Um, let's see, I want to make my dashed lines red. Dash, 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 dash. Over here, the same. Dash, 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 and the same. Dash, 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 dash. All right. Let's see, I'm going to make my zigzag line orange. And this is zigzag orange, which means I make these ones orange. That's right. Orange, and this is zigzag line orange. Do my mittens still match? I think they do. Now I'm going to color in the empty spaces, and I'm going to use crayons to do that. And I think I'll make the top part yellow. That means I make the top part of this also yellow. So I want them to match. Let's see, I think I'll make the next part this light green color. This is called yellow green. Green mixed with yellow. So I do the same thing on this side. It's best after you finish a color to go across and do the other one right away. That way you'll make sure that they're the same. Hmm, I think I'll make the next one blue. There we go. Color some blue in there. Stop at the marker line. And make this one blue over here so it matches. Kids mittens. Yours will be kids' mittens. These are mine, so they're adult mittens. <laughs> yellow, green, blue. So now I go back to yellow again. And over here. Right away, I'm going to go ahead and keep that yellow crayon in my hand and Color in this part yellow too so it matches. And I will go to light green again because that comes after yellow. So after yellow, I'll do light green. And I'll go all the way over into here. And I'll do the same thing in here. Then to blue. Try to stay inside the correct shape. Try not to go on top of the orange too much. Oh, look, I missed a part. Have to look carefully. And same here. You don't have to color as fast as me. I just have to make sure I get this done before my time is up for this video. So I want you to take your time though. And I go back to yellow again. You always double check before you start coloring. Make sure you don't use the wrong color. And on this side, same. There we go. Now I'm ready for the background. Now if you don't have paints, then you can use marker and crayon out here. If you do have paints, then you can paint it with paint. So I am going to start painting. Pick the color to go back here. Mm, haven't used purple yet, so I'm going to go ahead and use purple. 
Let's see here. I'm going to try not to paint on top of my mittens. Be careful, right? Almost start. I'm just going to keep on painting purple all around in these white parts around the mittens. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. Okay, I'm finishing up here with the purple. There we go. And if there's anything else you want to do it to it, do <laughs> do to it, you certainly can. You can add more colors. Um, make sure you wash off your brush. And I can come in here with uh, some black paint, and I can put some little black dots all around, or stripes, or whatever you want, just to jazz it up, make it look cool. It's up to you what you would like to do to the rest of it. I could have just left it purple, but I think this looks pretty neat. All right, makes it more fun to look at. <laughs> All right, so there's that. All right, again, if you don't have paints, you know, you can use marker and crayon and do a design in the background. So let me go ahead and show you some of the others. There's this one that I just made and here's another one I made another time. You can use different colors in the background or it can be one color. It's your choice. Uh, here's another one. All right, Get some warm colors out here and some cold colors inside the mitten. So that creates a contrast and here's one here. Get some blue and then some green and then put some black stripes out here and some blue little dashes or dot type things on top of the blue. All right. Okay. Uh, can't wait to see your kids' mittens. Make sure uh, when you're finished you take a picture and send it to my email or upload your image to Google Classroom and have a great time with this. This is a really fun project. All right. Happy holidays. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.